you got an opportunity to work with JJ Wild. So that's the summer of 2022. So that's now we made it all the way from the beginning from a kid, uh, you know, hearing Queen at three years old, all the way to uh, JJ Wild. So um, I, I, I have some words here from the record label. So this is Ian. Ian Stanger from Black Box Music. He says, right. Dan is a good dude who's really helped bring JJ Wild's live sound to a new level. So just because you can't, you, you're having trouble handling all the compliments, I thought I would give one final one to lay it on thick. Yeah, cool. He's just nice and straight to the point. That's what Ian does. You know, he's, uh, I think I work super hard for uh, for the band, right? Uh, management team, same management as uh, Gory's Sons. Right. Um, so yeah, they're, uh, they're they tour of, a lot together, right? Those yeah, two, do, right? It's the same label, and it just didn't make sense. And the bands work really well together, you know, as far as like the, the just the sound and then the people, right? Like the actual band members, right? They're all all good buddies. The Glory Sun guys love the, the JJ Wild guys, right? Uh, and vice versa. So yeah, it's cool. So I thank Ian for that, and I'm glad that he's happy with what's going on. Um, and I, I definitely feel the same that uh, I bring a. Uh, a little bit of lineage and, uh, and stuff to a band that's, you know, on the rise, you know, an artist that's on the rise and, you know, uh, getting front of house sound together for them uh, while they're going through these paces and stuff and things are happening. It's it great. Um, I've never had a chance to to work with a band like uh, on this level where basically it's just, you know, there's a couple of records out and they're just, you know, on that the level where things are happening and just kind of climbing that ladder uh and we'll just say a young band right all the bands have worked with are my age or maybe even older and kind of in mid or or later of their career so this is a really interesting time right now it gets me to work with a band and kind of uh in a way mentor them when so uh, you know we get integrated i'm only about two months in with them so they've only really you know they've just seen me as a as a tm in front of house guy and really trying to pull these tours together i kind of came in as a hail mary like a couple of weeks before the tour happened so It'd be neat now we got a break and we were planning a fall tour uh and that's when really the, the skill level and the knowledge can, can come out and we can you not know, can start passing that along and working with them and you know and they got a really good uh head for the business they all do too and they're all really excited so it, it's gonna be a little a nice meshing of of knowledge and excitement and stuff over the coming months and, and into the ne next year and just see where it all goes you can feel the momentum that's building with JJ Wild. You can feel that there's something there, something's growing. And and you're saying that this upcoming tour, this is her first headline tour, correct? This will be, yeah. yeah she's uh, um, doing, I guess, uh, yeah, it's a two-week tour, end of uh, October, and then some more local uh, like, uh, Ontario dates in November. So we elongate it a little bit. Um, so it's a bit of a shorter run, but it's her first actual uh, headline run. Um, and, uh, she's bringing out, uh, Billy Rafool, who she's been doing some writing with, um, and really a single with, uh, last year. So it's going to have that family atmosphere as well, you know, with, uh, Billy and his band. So yeah, it should be a great run. They're all really excited, you know, about it. Um, you know, to get on a headline run, um, that's a big step, you yeah. know, and even though it's going to be, you know, um, uh, smaller venues than we say we did with, uh, with glorious sons right it's just gonna be an hour and 15 hour and <laughs> hour and a half sets every night and you know and up the production you know a little bit so i'm bringing a little lighting package and little we'll doodads and that and really make a show out of it right and uh and it's yeah. mostly her fans you know when you're yeah. opening it's like you're a smaller percentage of the fans so there's lots of lots of perks to being the headliner absolutely right so they're gonna feed off of that hype too because they're gonna be there for you know, uh, for them. Right. And, uh, you know, it's definitely going to feed back into their performance. I think it's going to go really well, you know, lots of planning to do that. all starts basically, you know, this week, taking a couple of days, you know, to clear the brain a little bit, uh, this weekend, I'm actually going to with monster truck this weekend, uh, for a one-off. So I uh, go do that gig and then right into some tour prep, you know? So that's so. your, your time off is doing a badass show with monster truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It'd be a fun little one. Uh, it's up at, uh, up in Bala, I think it's called Summerfest. It's like a right on a lake up in Bala. Um, actually did the same show with them last year. I do some one-offs for them once in a while. You know, just, um, I love those guys. They're so easy and so fun to, to work for. And mixing them is like, it's it's like, that. I call it the hockey stick mix, right? It's, it's everything just up and it's a nice little balance and let them do what they're gonna do because what they do is great. It's just pedal the metal rock and roll. I absolutely love those guys. So I, yeah, I, I love them. 
I, I watched some of your updates uh, from your 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 tour with JJ Wild. It, you know, lots of cool stuff going on. Would you say the highlight was that show with Kiss in France? It looked it was like the Coliseum. It looked insane. What what to give us some inside scoop of what that was? Yeah, it was uh, in down in Nimes in southern France. Uh, it was extremely hot that day. I'll just put that there. Um, yeah, so it's one of the oldest ancient like Roman Coliseums still in existence. Um, and so to just let alone the venue and seeing the venue, okay, that's really cool, right? Then it's uh, you know, uh, you're on a show, direct support for Kiss, right? Uh, you know, and it's in France, and it's like all these levels of like coolness, right? So, uh, that was quite the experience, you know. Um, we were really lucky that day that, um, uh, I know a couple of the uh, well, actually, one in particular, uh, uh crew members for Kiss. Buddy of mine, TJ, is an incredible guitar tech, an amazing human being. And he just got the uh, uh, guitar tech job for Paul Stanley. So I was able to go in that day and meet up with TJ. He took me around and introduced me to all the guys, production manager, monitor guys, stage techs, all the, everybody in front, front of host tech. So it made our day really nice and smooth, right? Um, you know, so uh, that was a pleasure, you know, because normally, you know, when you're in a kind of a band that, Someone like Kiss, and it's an unknown. They're an unknown band, right? Opening, you know, uh, they're not really gonna, you know, and their crew are not gonna give you really that much time a day, which and they did. They gave us all the time that we really particularly needed. You know, a little cut short on our our sound check, but we made it through. <laughs> we got the the bulk of the time that we needed for the day. But uh, yeah, what a what a crazy show! Like basically staying there after the show, took all the guys from JJ Band all up front. Um, we watched the whole Kiss show. Um, and we're just sitting there and it's like we're in France we're at this ancient Coliseum and there's Kiss on a relatively small stage for them too so it seemed a little bit more intimate right and really interesting sound in there too right so um, yeah it was a really super unique like bucket with the type day like yeah I think that was definitely the topper of the last couple of months and you guys you guys even got a picture with the band right yeah yeah their security treated us great all day too um, yeah he uh um got us uh in there afterwards we were kind of just like oh we don't want to kind of intrude on or whatever you know just leave that time for the vip just like get in there right so yep we grabbed everybody and we got in got a quick little shot with them and you know said thanks to all the guys and you know for uh letting us do our thing and uh yeah and that was that yeah, very very cool the, the the last thing that i i wanted to chip in about jj wild is uh so in 2021, she wins the Juno for Rock Album of the Year, which yeah. is awesome. And what what a lot of people don't know is she's the first female artist in 25 years to win Best Rock Album. That's a genre that's, you know, mostly male, unfortunately. First artist in 25 years, the last female to win Best Rock Album at the Junos. Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill, literally like the biggest female album of all time. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it there's her and Alanis that have that award that bookend all the guys for 25 years in between. How how insane is that? That's such a cool I'm piece sure, of history. I'm sure daily she's, you know, blown away by that accolade, right? <laughs> you know, she's uh, she's very, really, very thankful for everything that's going on and, uh, you know, and everything that's, you know, going to be going on and how the, the, you know, everything looks going into the future, right? So, um, you know, I know it was a bit of a bummer, like, to, for them to, you know, uh, hit that in 2020 and not be able to tour it, you know? So that was probably the only uh, down thing about it, but to have that accolade, like, that never goes away, right? And that is something that's a staple in uh, her career, and that's going to propel her to the, everything else that she's going to be doing. So, yeah, it's a huge accolade and well-deserved, right? You know, it's just uh, she's super, super talented. She's a great singer, a uh, great show person. She's got a great beha band behind her, sorry. And, uh, yeah, things look very, very good and promise.